Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Cohen's H2 which could be used as an effect size measure for a binomial test. Notice that I call this H2 because that's also what Cohen actually does. There is also Cohen's H which is very similar but that's used if you have so-called paired samples. Now to uh, show you how this works I'm using RStudio and um, I need an example data file so that's actually an SPSS file so that's why I'm loading this library called foreign which helps me to uh, load in a data file in this case an SPSS file uh, I also set data frame to true because I want it as a data frame and I'm going to store that under my data now uh, I get a few warnings actually but these are just warning messages um, you know, I checked them out they're not a big uh, big problem and especially not for uh, this uh, video uh, I also want to rem uh, remove the uh, the missing values and um, I'm gonna immediately select one of the variables and the only one of interest uh, for this video which was uh, gender so I'm gonna store that under my variable and I quickly want to see the frequency so how many uh, people chose uh, the different options so I can use that by using the command table and then just input the variable and store that under frequencies so as you can see uh, there were 12 people who opted for female and 34 who opted for male and no other takers I need to convert these into proportions uh, there are a few different ways that this can be done a uh, fairly straightforward one is to just divide the frequencies by the sum of the frequencies um, and then you get the proportions so, uh, 26 percent if you will uh, was female and 74 percent was uh, male and multiply by 100 and you have percentages uh, I also need to define my expected proportion so for each of the two categories usually that's the same as the one you use for your binomial test I have a separate video on performing the binomial test so in this case 0 0.5 because we only have two um, uh, two categories then finally Cohen's H2 uh, it's uh, using an uh, arcsin transformation uh, of the square root of the proportions and that's actually then called a phi and that gets multiplied by 2 so that's the formula for the phi's uh, but also I need the one from the null hypothesis from the expected proportion so the exact same formula but then with expected proportions so let's also load that in and then finally h2 is simply the difference between one of those two fees that I have so I'm picking the first one and subtract from that the one from the expected proportion and that is actually h2 so in this case that's minus 0 0.49 if I would have used the other category and uh, I think it was 2 then you get the same result but then without the negative sign you could also use a package for all this there's the power package um, if you've never used that before you might want to use install dot packages and then between quotation signs power P, uh, pwr I already installed it so I'm not going to do that again then still need to load it of course and then you can use es for effect size dot h and then again the proportions and the two proportions that you want to use in this and it uh, luckily gives us the same result now remember for the interpretation uh, Cohen actually only has an interpretation table for h not for h2 but he gives a conversion uh, by taking h2 and then multiplying it simply with the square root of 2 so we can do that and that gives us an h value and that value we can look up in a table uh, that Cohen actually provided well he actually set the criteria 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 so assuming that everything below that is negligible uh, between 0.2 and 0.5 is small between 0.5 and 0.8 is medium and anything above that would be large so using uh, R's if function if uh, this is true then do this otherwise check if this is true uh, then do this etc so if I run this uh, it should actually print out uh, medium in this case because um, the zero point well, where do we have it over here the zero point um, sorry 705 that uh, would be between 
uh, 0.5 and 0.8 so uh, it's above 0.5 so it's not small um, it's still below 0.8 so it's going to be medium and that's it for this video here's the source where the original book from Cohen is hope this was helpful um, and if you want to see more about the binomial test or uh, other effect sizes that could be used check petersstatistics.com thank you for watching